it's either the ball or it's your hand. Yeah, that's true. I don't know what it is with bacon, but the word alone is just magical. Bacon still gets me every time. And I know on YouTube, nobody's looking for bacon anymore. No bacon recipes, nobody really wants it. Since Epic Mealtime doesn't have any more viewers, well, the hype is kind of gone. Who wants bacon these days? I kind of do. So this one's for me. I want to go old school. And I'm talking about these old school recipes, minced meat, cheese, bacon, and all the goodness, like, like we had a couple of years ago. Those were the days. You could just have the cheapest ingredients and make the most amazing thing on your barbecue. I don't care what kind of high standards we are projecting on ourselves these days. I'm just gonna make something tasty for me. And hopefully you will enjoy it too. Uh, uh, for me, right? And for you too, Marsh. That's why we got minced meat and we got grilled pulled pork. That's right, grilled pulled pork. Haven't seen the video yet? Check it out. The link is somewhere. Morrison, you will put the link down below? Maybe. Maybe Morrison will put the link down below. Otherwise, just look it up. Grilled pulled pork by Pitmaster X. You will find it. And this stuff is good. Definitely gonna make for some crazy tasty stuff. But now, it just looks like old dried food because it's cold and it's fat. <laughs> and tasty. Let's go. We'll start by taking 500 gram of minced meat. Add a couple of tablespoons of your favorite barbecue rub to it and mix it thoroughly. Take a big chunk of cheese and cut it up into thick cubes. Take a quarter of the minced meat and spread it out over the board. Sprinkle on a little bit of your leftover pulled pork. Put the big chunk of cheese on and wrap it all up. Then use your hands to turn this into a beautiful meatball. Wrap it in a couple of slices of bacon and your ball is ready for the barbecue. So let's fire it up. I set up the Napoleon Apollo smoker for direct heat. There's a lot of distance, so we can handle the heat. I can actually have my hand direct over the heat while having any problem with it. Now, we're gonna add a chunk of beech tree. That's gonna give us a lot of smoke flavor. Grill grate on. <laughs> and now it's time to put my balls on. I had to make it, I right, sorry. Look at these beautiful giant balls. It's gonna be so tasty. Now let's quickly put the lid on. I'm going to let these cook for around half an hour to an hour at a temperature of around 140 degrees Celsius. Time to make a barbecue sauce by starting with half a cup of ketchup, three tablespoons of whiskey, two tablespoons of sweet soy sauce, otherwise known as ketchup manis, half a tablespoon of Worcester sauce, four tablespoons of maple syrup, two tablespoons of sugar, one teaspoon of red hot Tabasco sauce, and to finish it off, one tablespoon of our barbecue rub. Put this over direct heat, let the crystal sugars dissolve, and stir it around until you have a smooth, bubbly, syrup-like consistency. Oh, these bowls look about done. They have a golden brown color from the smoke. Now it's time to start brushing on that barbecue sauce. Look at how nice and thin our barbecue sauce is. It's gonna give these bowls a beautiful glaze. And you might see that we got beautiful bowls, but as you can see, we also have beautiful merch. Our new merch is out, guys. <laughs> I know you've been waiting for it. And we got them in all kinds of colors. The hoodies look absolutely amazing, so definitely check them out below the video. Now I'm gonna put the lid back on and let this go for another 10 to 15 minutes just to make sure we got that barbecue sauce sticking on the outside.
Before I start eating these, I'm going to tell you a little secret. I always check the core temperature of the cheese with a thermometer. If it's above 50 to 60 degrees Celsius, I know the cheese is melted. And you might think, whoa, your cheese didn't run out. That's because it's not processed cheese. This is a real nice piece of Gouda cheese, which means it's gonna taste good. I kind of like this new merch, Morrison. What do you think? Looks good, right? Looks good on camera? It's amazing. Yes, I look a little bit red, of course. Yeah. A little bit red. Your street credibility with this shirt on. That's it's pretty high. Pretty high now. I've been, I've been into some bad neighborhoods with this sweater and it's nobody- It's true, it's just arrived this morning. You gotta sell it. Oh. I've been into some really bad neighborhoods and well, nobody can touch me, right? I already had swagger, but now it's like over 9,000. Uh, how about tasting? I'm, I'm so hungry. Oh, yeah. I, could, I, I could eat one. Oh, that's, whoa, they're, <laughs> they're too big. That doesn't fit in my mouth. That's gonna fit in my mouth. One eighth part, there you go. Mm. There's everything you want. There's everything you want from comfort food. Good comfort food. You got bacon, you got cheese, and you got minced meat. But then you have that pulled pork. And that pulled pork is just totally doing it for me. It's so good. <laughs> These are some good balls. Remember they did the other balls? The one that come from the Rocky Mountains? I like this way better. We look good together. Oh yeah. It's an, it, this is an awesome hoodie, right? This is an awesome hoodie. Yeah, I love it. But what I do love more, if you want to be completely honest. You like my balls better. I like your balls better. Oh man. That's, that's, that's a great ball. Why did you feed the dog? I didn't. Hmm? I didn't. Feed the dog. It's either the ball or it's your hand. Yeah, that's true. The way you eat this is just you grab your, your, your paw. Yeah. Yeah. You get, you get your paw out. Paw out. Yeah. yeah. Good, good and, then, and you take it all the way to your mouth. She doesn't trust me. <laughs> she doesn't trust me. <laughs> Now you know who's boss. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, then leave us a big thumbs up. Don't forget to check out our merch. Thank you to our patrons and our YouTube members. You guys freaking rock. And check out our second YouTube channel. The link's down below. Hope to see you guys next time. Until then, it's makkelijk. And keep on feeding that dog. Yeah.